Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Do you want to know what mistakes you could be making to kick yourself out of ketosis? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks that might just help you. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you a few tips and tricks that could possibly be knocking you out of ketosis. Now, keep in mind that everyone is different. Your bodies are different. So some of these may be kicking you out of ketosis and some of these may not be kicking you out of ketosis. So please, please, please check your ketone levels and check your blood sugar levels. Um, you can use the Keto Mojo, you can use the Keto Coach, whichever one you pres uh, prefer. There's many brands out there that work rather well. So um, just keep that in mind that everybody is different and some of these may or may not be kicking you out of ketosis. So with that being said, I've got my little computer here and I've just got some items on here that may or may not be kicking you out of ketosis. Now, like I said, um, they may be kicking you out and they may not be kicking you out. So um, just make sure you're checking your ketone levels to make sure you're in ketosis. So number one is not counting your macros. Now I know this is kind of like a double standard because when you first start keto, you do not want to count your macros. You just want to eliminate as many carbs and as much sugar as possible in your diet so that way your body gets acclimated to the keto lifestyle. Now once you get more familiar with the keto lifestyle, you can start tracking your macros. You don't have to track it every day, but you do want to track it every once in a while, maybe once a week to make sure you're hitting your fat goals, your protein goals, and your carb goals as much as possible. Now you don't have to be dead on um, whatever goals you have for, you know, say you're 70% fat and you get in 60%. As long as you're trying to reach that goal as much as possible, you're doing fine. So I would recommend tracking your macros at least once a week, if not twice a week, just to make sure that you're on the right track and you're getting your protein, carbs, and your fats as much as possible right there where you need them. So another thing is you're not tracking your ketone levels. Now you can use the Keto Mojo, you can use the Keto Coach, and I think there's a few others out there. Now I use the Keto Coach. I don't have it here with me because my husband's got it at work because he wanted to track his macros today. So he's got that or I would show you, but I would recommend tracking your ketones or measuring your ketones maybe twice a week just to make sure that you're, you're in ketosis. Um, so that way you can bump up or cut down whatever it is that you need to cut down to knock yourself back into ketosis. And another thing is you're not getting enough fat. So a lot of people struggle with getting enough fat in their diet. They don't know how to implement more fats in their diet. Now, um, or you're eating the wrong kind of fat. Say for instance, vegetable oil, canola oil, or uh, sunflower seed oil, anything like that you do not want to eat. So I would recommend not getting that at all. And uh, just sticking with the better products of oil, such as coconut oil, avocado oil, um, olive oil. You can do butter. Make sure it's real butter. There should not be anything in butter except for milk, cream, and salt. Or herbs if you do an herb butter or garlic if you do garlic butter or anything like that. Just make sure there are no bad ingredients in your butter. So... Um, you can do tallow, you can do ghee, you can do bacon fat. 
Like if you cook bacon, just let your grease cool down a little bit, pour it in a jar, store it in the refrigerator, and it adds so much flavor to your meals. So make sure you're eating enough fats and make sure you're eating the right kind of fat. So you can not only um, oils and butter, you can do avocados, you can do nuts, you can do salmon, uh, salmon, excuse me. You can do MCT oils. Um, peanut butter is really good for healthy fats. You can just, um, like me, if I'm having trouble reaching my fat goal and say I've just got just a little bit of fats to, you know, reach my goal, I'll get a scoop of peanut butter and I'm good to go. I'll sit there and eat the peanut butter right off the spoon. Um, so or you can do macadamia butter that's really good you can do mac any kind of macadamia excuse me any kind of nut like macadamia nuts are really really good um, or almonds peanuts anything like that is really good to help you reach your fat goal um, just keep in mind it does have protein in it as well so it will bump up your protein a little bit as t you know as well you're not eating enough or you're eating too much protein now, when I say this, I say this lightly. Um, when it comes to protein, it's a fine line, okay? You can eat, if you eat, if you don't eat enough protein, you're going to establish hair loss. Your skin's going to get like a little bumpy or anything like that and uh, that's when you know you want to bump up your protein now when I first started doing keto I wasn't eating enough protein so I did notice a significant amount of hair loss now I did bump up my protein to you know reestablish my hair growth back and I did implement collagen into my diet as well so make sure you're eating enough protein but you're not eating too much protein now like i said it's it's a thin line because um having too much protein will kick you out of ketosis but you want to have enough protein where you don't have hair loss so try to reach your protein goals as much as possible so you don't um reap the benefits of hair loss so keep that in mind to eat enough protein but not too much protein this is why we track our macros so that way you know you're on the right track with your protein so you don't um, notice any of that now um, let's see like I said before you're eating bad oils just please please stay away from the bad oils don't eat the vegetable oils don't eat the sunflower oil or canola oil or anything like that make sure it's really good fats really good butter stuff like that so it benefits your body instead of hurt your body so make sure you've got the good oils the good fats and everything like that so that way you're fats are on track and your body is utilizing those extra fats and it's burning those fats um, another thing is you're eating too much dairy now when it comes to lazy dirty keto you're going to eat more cheese than one would normally eat but you want to limit that you don't want to eat um, yogurt every day you don't want to eat cheese every day and I'm not saying that you can't um, you do you but I would limit the amount of cheese or dairy that you're having within your diet now when it comes to butter you can never have enough butter it flavors uh, you know your meals really well it helps you boost up that fat but when you do dairy such as cheese or milk or yogurts or anything like that you want to try to limit that um, every now and then a little bit every day is fine 
but you don't want to overdo it on your dairy because it will kick you out of ketosis if you eat too much of it so just keep that in mind sorry guys my battery died but as I was saying um, just make sure you limit your dairy products every day you don't want to eat too much um, so keep that in mind another thing that could be kicking you out of ketosis is you're eating too many carbs and the whole point of keto is being in ketosis and limiting your carbs so make sure you're not going over your carbs for the day because it will kick you out of ketosis so make sure to keep an eye on your carbs um, we all know that bread pasta sugar cereal and things like that have so many carbs in it and you want to eliminate those as much as possible now I'm not saying you can't have a cheat day where you eat a burger or you eat pasta or sushi or whatever it is that you would like to have just make sure that next meal you get right back on track and you go right back into your keto lifestyle um, some vegetables like potatoes carrots and squash have carbs as well so limit those vegetables as much as possible now I'm not saying that you can't have those in a limited amount um, I do eat squash I do eat carrots but I don't eat them all the time like um, if I make a keto stir fry I will throw some carrots in there or um, like if I have a soup I will throw some carrots and squash in there it just depends but I don't eat that much and I don't eat them all the time so Make sure you limit all of your carby vegetables as well. And another thing that may be kicking you out of ketosis is not taking care of your microbiome in your gut. Make sure you're eating enough fiber, um, bone broths, kimchi, sauerkraut, pickles, some um, vegetables that are fermented really, really help with the microbiome in your gut and it helps everything smoothly um, it makes everything go well and um, helps produce enzymes which helps aid in digestion so make sure you're eating some fiber or fermented vegetables so that way your gut health is on point and it helps aid in digestion and everything smooth is you know everything is going smoothly they also have a lot of prebiotics and probiotics in it so that way it like i said it helps aid in digestion and it helps break down your foods and digest it better so everything is running great and uh, another thing is is you're not drinking enough water something as simple as water can kick you out of ketosis um, so make sure you stay hydrated uh, you don't have to drink just plain water you can add a little bit of lemon juice into your water I don't recommend adding a lot of lemon juice into your water um, but it does help aid in digestion it does have um, enzymes in it that help flush your system out and uh, helps your gut so a little bit of lemon in your water will help boost up that flavor you can also drink ketones that will help you um, get in your water you can drink unsweet tea that will help get in your water um, coffee I know coffee is a uh, dehydrating drink so I don't recommend drinking coffee until you've had your water make sure you drink your water first before you drink your coffee or drink your coffee and then have your water just make sure you're flushing that coffee down with a lot of water so that way it doesn't dehydrate you in the process you can add a little bit of mineral salt to your water that will help your body retain a little bit of that water and help it hydrate your body I don't recommend using table salt you don't want the iodized table salt make sure you're getting like the pink salt um, the Celtic salt or the Redmond's real salt 
just so it helps you get in those minerals that are depleted in your body during the keto diet so let's see yeah I think that's all that I have and those are just a, a few things that I've noticed that have kicked people out of their keto diet or their out of ketosis and some of the things that I've noticed that have kicked me out of ketosis just keep in mind that everybody is different and uh, you just have to check and make sure what works for you and what doesn't like I said make sure you check your ketones your blood sugar and everything like that and you will pretty much know if you're in ketosis and if you are in ketosis or not so you guys that is going to be it for this video I hope it helps you in some way um, and helps you establish a little bit more better view on your ketones so that way you know whether or not what keeps you out of ketosis or not so yeah guys I hope it helps you and I hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit that little red subscribe button down below and tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos I upload new videos every single week guys I will see you guys in the next video bye